If you've got a talent and you've got a gift and you want to do respect to that gift by cultivating it, then you make a decision to cultivate it. And you make a decision to do what you need to do to push that out there, whatever that is, right? To bring it to the forefront. And it's those small little tasks. Like, y'all, if you can't even make it to the gym, what, the, what, are, you, what are you doing? You know, it's the little things that add up. This isn't like some big rah-rah speech, right? Success is like a quiet daily set of tasks. Real small, real, real small. You guys ever seen like, like that Al Pacino speech in every, any given Sunday where he talks about like pumping up his, his team in that, in that thing, right? Like you're gonna win this thing or whatever. Actually, that's, that's not really helpful. For someone who's successful, that's not really even helpful. Success is done like, like for me, how success done? It's like that quiet walk to the gym, like footsteps, some empty ass gym late at night. Success in, for me is like watching my videos and my speaking and seeing where I can work on it over and over and over. Or as I sit there studying other great people and then comparing it with what I'm doing and looking at it over and over and over. Doing 20 minutes of quiet meditation a day over and over and over. Making the choice to eat foods that enhance my brain neurotransmitters over and over and over. It's very quiet. It's a, it's a, it's a very quiet process where you're just drawing your state from within yourself, doing these like simple little tasks but finding love in those simple little tasks. It's not this big rah-rah speech where you do this one thing and something big happens. And those little things, those little menial tasks that add up, you have to execute them. And when your brain tells you that you got a great reason today not to do it, and you wanna to listen to your brain, because your brain doesn't want you to be a big success. Your brain just wants to keep you alive. All your brain wants you to do is just pump out one or two kids so the DNA can continue on, that's it. It's gonna to lie to you, it's gonna trick you until you can get it on your team, right? So it's gonna lie and trick you. You gotta just be consistent. You gotta have that consistent thing. And you gotta cultivate a love for the process. You gotta love the process. And you gotta make a decision to love the process. The question though is about motivation, right? That's the, that's the question you had, the question is motivation. So. Motivation is an art. Motivation is an art, right? And to get the motivation to play at that level with the big boys, you go deep. Are you getting that sense? You go deep. Now, when you're hearing all the stuff I'm saying, did I come up with that overnight? No, that's from decades of motivation. And I could talk longer. I could talk all day about where it comes from. I could talk about God. I could talk about my belief about the world, where I think the world is going. I could talk about the fact that I have an internal locus of control, believe that I can create the circumstances that I want, and I don't believe that I have no effect. You know what I'm saying, right? And these are all things that have crossed my mind from years and years and years of having to do little menial tasks, from having to take huge risks, from having to be broke and suffer, from having to be humiliated. You know what I'm saying, right? Because no one wants you to succeed, right? Only your mom. And even your mom doesn't want you to succeed because she's afraid you're not going to call her back. No one wants you to succeed, homie. So if you have a dream, if you have a dream, okay, and it's worth it to you because you're someone who's inspired by that dream, you can choose to go to that level and find your own motivations. These are mine, right? So, remember, so I don't teach motivation. You know what I'm saying? I, you just ask the question, though, where, where does my motivation come from?